In this video, we are going to talk about everything you need to know about Algeria. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Algeria is officially known as the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, Al Jazair, Berber, Zaire. Algeria, formerly known as the Democratic and Popular Republic of Algeria, is a North African country with the second largest land area in Africa, behind Sudan. It is also the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea and the world's ninth largest. Algeria is bordered on the northeast by Tunisia, on the east by Libya, on the southeast by Niger, on the west by Morocco, on the southwest by Western Sahara, Mauritania, and Mali, and on the north by the Mediterranean Sea. Algeria has a land area of roughly 2,400,000 square kilometers, 930,000 square miles. The capital of Algeria is Algiers. Algeria is a member of international organizations such as the Arab League, the United Nations, the African Union, and the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. Algeria was also the founding member of the Arab Maghreb Union. Post-independence. In 1954, the National Liberation Front launched a guerrilla struggle in Algeria to gain independence FLN. At the end of the war in 1962, 10% of Algeria's population, or over 1 million individuals, fled to France. The majority of Algerians of European heritage, as well as 81,000 Harkis, were among them. Algerians serving in the French army were known as the Harkis. In Algeria, the FLN is thought to have slaughtered 50,000 to 150,000 Harkis and their families, according to some estimates. Algeria's first president was FLN leader Ahmed Ben Bella. Houari Boumidien, a former ally and defense minister, deposed him in 1965. Ben Bella's first government had already become authoritarian and socialist, a trend that persisted under Boumidien's reign. Boumidien put a greater emphasis on the army, reducing the lone legal political party to a symbolic function. He nationalized the oil industry, collected agricultural areas, and launched an industrialization program. During the 1973 oil crisis, the county's leadership benefited significantly from this. When the price of oil fell in the 1980s, the Algerian economy suffered greatly due to its reliance on it. Moroccan claims to sections of western Algeria worsened relations, culminating in the Sand War of 1963. Algeria's assistance for the Polisario Front strained relations, as did the country's hosting of Sahrawi refugees. Algerians did not tolerate dissent. The 1976 constitution solidified the government's control of the media and the government's previous ban on political parties. When Boumedian died in 1978, his replacement, Chadli Benjadid, significantly relaxed the limitations. Corruption was also a problem in the two bureaucratic state. Increased urbanization is driven by demographic shift as a result of modernity. Agriculture's employment declined and other industries arose. The literacy rate increased from less than 10% to more than 60%. With each mother having an average of 7 to 8 children, the fertility rate soared. By 1980, the younger population had grown significantly, resulting in a housing problem. Two protest movements arose as a result of this, one, communists, which included Berber identity organizations, and two, an Islamic movement. Benjadid was forced to end one-party control as a result of these groups' large demonstrations. Political Events, 1991-2002 In 1991, planned elections were held, with the Islamic Salvation Front winning the first round of a multi-party election. Benjadid was forced to resign as a result of this. As a result, all religiously motivated political parties, including the victorious Islamic Party, were outlawed. The Algerian civil war erupted as a result of this. More than 160,000 people were murdered in fighting between terrorists and government authorities between 1992 and 2002. Civilian massacres have happened, but the perpetrators are still unknown, with some blaming Islamists and others blaming the government. Elections were held again in 1995. Abdelaziz Bouteflika was elected president by the army in April 1999. Algeria after the civil war. 
The main guerrilla groups had dissolved or declined by 2002 as a result of an amnesty program and government military victories. Terrorism and conflict, on the other hand, persist to some extent. The topic of traditional Berber languages and identity became more prominent after the Kabyle community protested in 2001 and called for a near-total electoral boycott. Berber was designated as a national language to be taught in schools after the government made concessions. Algeria has emerged as an emergent economy as a result of its recovery and development. High oil and gas prices are being used by the government to boost industry and agriculture. As a result, international investment has increased. Climate. Desert temperatures are very hot, even in the winter. The clear, dry air allows the heat to dissipate after sunset, leaving the nights cool. This results in wide daily temperature ranges. Algeria's highest official temperature was measured at 50.6 degrees Celsius 123.1 degrees Fahrenheit. The coastal part of the Tel Atlas receives fairly abundant rainfall, with the amount increasing from west to east. The northern part of Algeria receives the most rain. Inland there is less precipitation. Easterly and northeasterly prevailing winds shift to westerly and northerly in winter. This increases rain from September to December. There is a near absence of rain in the summer months. Sand dunes between the mountains, or ergs, appear in the summertime during gusty winds. Politics The president, currently Abdelaziz Bouteflika, is in office for five years. Parliament lifted a constitutional two-term limit in 2008. Anyone over 18 can vote. The president also chairs the High Security Council. The Prime Minister appoints the President and the Council of Ministers. The National People's Assembly APN, is the lower chamber of Algeria's parliament. He or she is elected every five years. The upper chamber has 144 members. Multiple parties are allowed under the 1976 constitution, so far, 40 legal parties. A party cannot be created based on language, religion, gender, race, or geography. Foreign Relations and Military The Algerian military has five branches, the People's National Army ANO, the Algerian Air Force QJJ, the Algerian National Navy MRA, and the Territorial Air Defense Force. The military derives from the National Liberation Front's armed wing, the ALN, that fought the French for independence. The president is the commander-in-chief. For men 19 to 30, military service is mandatory for 18 months with six spent actively training and the remainder on civil projects. Its forces are directed to the west and east, toward Morocco and Libya respectively. The former Soviet Union was its primary supplier along with the People's Republic of China. The 70,000-member Gendarmerie is a rural police force supplementing the military under the president's control. The 30,000-member Metropolitan Police Force, or Shurit Nationale, is directed by the Ministry of the Interior. The Algerian Air Force signed its 2007 deal with Russia for 49 MiG-29 SMT and 6 MiG-29 UBT aircraft for $1.9 billion. The deal included a return of old Soviet-era aircraft. In addition, Algeria ordered two Russian 636-type diesel submarines. In 2009, the possibility of some Israeli parts caused the cancellation of an additional weapons deal with France. Maghreb Union Tightening of the Maghreb Union, a trade union in North Africa, is blocked by tension between Algeria and Morocco over the Western Sahara. In 1989 the union was established but carries little practical weight. Economy Oil is Algeria's economic backbone and accounts for 60% of its budget. That is 30% of GDP and 95% of exports. It has the 14th highest world oil reserves with 11.8 billion barrels proven, with some estimates even higher. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, Algeria's natural gas reserves were the world's eighth largest at 160 trillion cubic feet. The International Monetary Fund IMF, supported reforms in debt rescheduling which increased Algeria's economic indicators in the 1990s. The 2000 and 2001 oil price increase also benefited the country as did tight fiscal policy. 
This reduced foreign debt, increased its trade surplus, and led to record high foreign exchange reserves. Attracting investment in non-energy industries has largely failed to reduce high unemployment. The government did complete a treaty with the EU in 2001 that will increase trade. Russia also agreed to erase Algeria's $4.74 billion Soviet-era debt in 2006. In return, the Algerian president agreed to purchase $7.5 billion in military arms. Algeria will also pay off its $8 billion Paris Club debt earlier than scheduled. By the end of 2006, Algeria's foreign debt will be under $5 billion. Agriculture. Currently, the Algerian agricultural sector employs 25% of its citizens. At the time of the U.S. Civil War, Algeria grew a large amount of cotton, but production later declined. Early in the 20th century, renewed efforts to grow the plant were initiated. In the southern oases, small amounts are also grown. Also, the dwarf palm is cultivated in large quantities for their leaves and horsehair-like fibers. Tobacco and olives also grow well. Cereal grains, mostly wheat, oat, and barley, are produced on more than 30,000 square kilometers, 7 million acres, primarily in the Tel Atlas. Its productivity was increased during French rule by using water wells. Fruit is also exported, including many citrus products, as well as other crops such as figs, dates, espartograss, and cork. Algeria is also Africa's largest oat market. Demographics Algeria population, live, the current population of Algeria is 42,451,230 as of Friday, March 1, 2019, based on the latest United Nations estimates. The northern, coastal area is home to 90% of the population. The few in the Sahara live near oases, but approximately 1.5 million are at least partially nomadic. Those under 15 years of age are 30% of the population. The country has the fourth lowest fertility rate in the Middle East, behind Cyprus, Tunisia, and Turkey. Most of Algerians' ethnic ancestors are Berbers and some Middle East populations, such as Punics and Arabs. A large majority of the population of cities like Algiers are descendants of Andalusian refugees. Algerian Arabic is spoken by 83% of the population, with Berber languages spoken in the Chawi and Kabyle regions. Standard Arabic is taught to most Algerian youth and French is also understood widely. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.